Now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about functions of a graph when we're dealing with or overview of functions and the graph of the function when we're dealing with it being even and odd. So a couple things to note about even and odd. One thing, when we have an even function, let me actually um, our graph is going to be symmetric with the y-axis. So a great example of that is a parabola. And remember, for it to be symmetrical, what we're looking for is we're just kind of dot like a dotted line. We want to say everything on the left side is going to be exactly the same on the right side. If you were to kind of think of this as a book and flip it over, we notice that these are symmetrical, and I know my drawing is not perfect. But, you know, if you guys can kind of imagine the best as possible for me, you can see that this is going to be symmetrical. Um, in contrast, if I was going to flip this over on this dotted line here, you notice that the right side is not the same as the left side. If I was to flip this over, it would not transpose correctly. So therefore, this is an even graph. It's symmetrical. This, however, is not uh, symmetrical about the y-axis. Another way we can uh, test, so that's if it's even. So even, let me write over here. So an odd function is now symmetrical about the origin. So if you guys remember the origin is you know right where the x and the y-axis come together. So a uh, classic example of that is our cubic function. I uh, know it's not perfect. And one way for me to kind of show you uh, one way to kind of do the or or to uh, uh, flip things to see if it's symmetrical about the origin. What you want to do is, if you can reflect it about the y, and then reflect it about the x. It doesn't really matter which way you go, or you can reflect it about the x, and then reflect it about the y. So the first thing I'm going to do is, if I was to reflect this about the, let's reflect it about the y. So if I reflect it about the y, I would get a graph that's going to look something like this. I can do it well. Okay. So if I was to flip this over, I would now have a graph that would look like that. That's re reflecting about the y-axis. Then, now, if I reflect it about the x-axis, I'm sorry, yeah, if I reflect it about the x-axis, now this is going to go down there. So the first thing that I flipped over, so now this is going to flip down there, that's going to flip up. So let's see what this looks like. So now, those flip, those change. And then I go back to my original function and I say, is this function, now that I've reflected it about the y-axis and the x-axis, does that look like my original function? And if the answer is yes, then you have, then it's symmetrical about the origin. So um, a cubic function like this is symmetrical about the origin. And that is how you test to see if it's symmetrical. Now there is an algebraic test that I'm going to show you. And I will do some occurring videos for you. Um, I just want to kind of write down at least the definitions for there. So the way that we test this, if you remember, if you're going to plug in a negative x, this is like you putting a negative x value in. So if you plug in that negative x value, if you get back f of x, that means you're going to have an even function. So if you plug in a negative x value and you get uh, the same, you get the same output then you're going to have an even function. And I'll just explain that again. Let's say, uh, you know, let's say this is 0.2, and here's your, that's your x, and here's your f of x. Well, if I put in a negative x, and I still get the same point, f of x, well, you can see how it's going to be symmetrical. So this is the definition for an even function. If I now put out a negative x, and I get in return a negative f of x, 
Now what that's gonna give me is, that's gonna give me the definition of an odd function. So I'll go through a couple of these examples in my later videos for you, but I at least wanna go over an overview of how you determine if something is even or odd. You can do it by using a graph and checking this uh, symmetry, or you can also use it algebraically. 